Where better than to start the four circuits we visit on the Rotax Max Euro Trophy calendar than the home of champions, Karting Genk in Belgium. Far in Mega, last year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals Mini Max winner takes us on a trip 1,360 metres and 12 turns. Here we go, coming out of the dummy grid onto the main start finish straight, heading towards the finish line. The speed's approaching 100 kilometers an hour as they head into the quick right-hander at turn one before it tightens very quickly for turn two. The drivers can use the runoff on the left-hand side as they go towards turn three on the first lap of the race, but after that, it's track limits enforcement. Through turn four into turn five before neatly turning in tightly and kissing the apex of the turn six hairpin before blasting past road-going traffic on your left as you head towards turn seven. Kiss the brakes. Kiss the apex on the right, turn to the left, and then it's the right hand uh, sweeper at turn eight, where you're pulling over one and a half times the force of gravity. Just look at the amount of steering input Farin's putting in going through the exit at turn number nine before the short blast down to another overtaking opportunity at turn number 10. Then it's the left hander at turn 11. Make sure you don't hit the curbs on the right hand side because it can unsettle the car. Full commitment for turn number 12. It's the final one on the track. Kiss the curbs, put the foot to the floor and explode towards the finish line at around 55 seconds.